Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to talk about some basic skills that we may use in MATLAB. So first of all, at the top of each file, to prevent errors and confusion, using the use the following two lines of code at the top of each file. The clear code will clean the workspace. Here is the workspace. And the CLC code will clean the command windows. For example, if I type something on the command window and then I can clear it by typing CLC and comment and comment. So anything after the percent sign is a comment which which is ignored by the computer. Comment is only for the for reminding us what are we doing with the code. You can see the first line here. It's a command which I use to reminding myself the purpose of the two lines of code to prevent error. So you can do the same thing when you write your code. And to make the coding being nice and neat, we may have a blank line above each command except at the very top of the page. Uh, let's talk about code. The first code I'm gonna teach in this video is the display function, which can display a message on the screen. So the display function displays on the screen whatever is between the single quotes. So I type hello between the single quotes. Once I run the file, I got hello display on the screen, on the command window. That's what I call screen, okay? Um, two things I need to emphasize here are most code in MATLAB is lowercase, as you can see, and most lines end with a semicolon here. That's very important. So the first concept you need to know is variable. In the program, data can be stored in a variable. Two components of a variable are variable name and the value of it stores so for example age equals to 18 age is the variable name and 18 is the value i store in the variable we can also display this message on the screen by using the display function say you want to, if we want to display the value of the variable we can display age using this line of code and then you can see the value of the age is printed on the screen. So instead of printing the value, we can also print the the variable name onto the screen by using single quotes like this. And then you can see once we run, we get the variable name on the screen. So there are more functions in MATLAB. You can see here. If you are not sure how to use a function, you can type help followed by the function name into the command window. Say I don't know how to what does ABS stand for? And then I can do something like this. And then you can see the description of the function is can be found here. If you think it's not it's still not that clear you can use here you can come here and then type abs click then you can find a more clear description are provided here and there are some examples you can see basically abs stands for absolute value right yeah, there are more examples you can find here. That's function. After the function, I'm going to talk about um, if statement. And if statement is used to do some actions if some condition is true. For example, so if the water temperature is higher than or equal to 100 Celsius degree, Celsius degree display boiling on the screen. That's the condition I want to have, right? 
So that's what we call if statement. If temperature is greater than hundred Celsius degree, the split boiling on the screen. As I assign the temperature is equal to fifty Celsius degree, which is actually lower than hundred Celsius degree. So if I run the program, nothing is gonna display on the window. What if I change the value of the temperature? To 150 degree Celsius degree, and then run again. Then you can see boiling is actually printed on the screen, and that's what we call if statement. So to make the code clearer to read, we use the tab key on the keyboard to indent the code inside the if statement here, just to make the code more clearer and easier to read. So when we use if statement, we need to use booleans. Booleans are something I use here. Right? Greater and equal to. Some common booleans are listed below, you can see. So uh, one example of booleans could be here. Here are two variables. The first variable is my English mark which is 94 and the second variable is my mathematics mark so the condition is if my English mark is greater than 90 and my mark, math marks is greater than 80 then display distinction on the screen so once I run the program I got a distinction printed on the screen as you can see my mark is actually meets the requirement of getting a distinction mark what if I change my mark to like 14 and 5 and I run the code again, I got nothing, right? And that's Boolean here. That's an example of how you used Boolean's else function. We can use else function to do something else if the condition is false. Here is an example. Let me explain what the code means. So this code is going to print a message depending on whether the number assigned in n is positive or not. If n is greater than 0, positive is going to be printed on the screen. Otherwise, negative is going to be printed on the screen. So as I let n equals to minus 5, once I run the code, negative is going to be printed on the screen. You can change the value of n to see what is going to happen. Right? Negative. If I change back to 5, that's positive. And that's what that's how you use else. Right? Instead of else, like when we have more than one condition, we can use else of. Here is an example. So this code means if n is greater than 0, which means it is positive, and then positive is going to be printed on the screen. Similarly, if n is negative, negative it will be printed on the screen. If both conditions fail, 0 will be printed on the screen. We can now run the code. Right? I got positive as I let n equal to 6. You can try a different value of n and see what will happen. Let's see, it's minus 6. Yeah, I got negative. If it's 0, I got 0. So one thing I want to emphasize is that the condition after else of is only tested if the condition after if is false. Otherwise, it is skipped. Okay, that's all for today's video. If you think this video is useful, smash the like button and subscribe down below. I will upload more short videos about MATLAB.